23 ABC News is brought to you in high definition by BMW of Bakersfield. We combined lifestyle and performance and created the first ever BMW X4 SAV. Now, with the latest breaking news, live reports from around Kern County, and your latest weather with Storm Shield Doppler. From the KERO studios in downtown Bakersfield, this is 23 ABC News. The Erskine fire devastating our local community of Lake Isabella. Over 19,000 acres are burning so far this morning, forcing hundreds out of their homes. That fire burning off of Erskine Creek Road and Apollo Way has already destroyed 100 structures and is threatening 1,500 this morning. We have team coverage this morning. Meteorologist Jesus Lopez will have the mountain forecast and what fire crews will be working with. But first, let's join reporter James Johnson live from Lake Isabella with the latest on the fire's impacts. James, what can you tell us now? Yeah, that's that, that's right, Lindsay. We're here at Lake Isabella where fire crews are continuing to battle that blaze. And right now the winds are just picking up. We're here in South Lake where this area has been evacuated. But just driving around, you can see home after home after home that has been destroyed uh, due to this fire. Now, we talked to people who are coming back to their homes for the first time since this fire started and can't believe the, the destruction that has happened in this area. One of those residents, Octavio's son, has lived in South off Lake all his life and found out about the fire from his girlfriend who was home when that fire started. Got the call from my girlfriend. She was scared, didn't know what to do. I told her to take her little dog and go. And left my two big dogs here in the yard. I hope they made it out. All these people have animals. They all have dogs. They all have kids. Life. It's just all gone. It's hard. My mom. My mom's disabled. She's permanently disabled. She worked her whole life for what's in that house. And it's not about money. Her books, her photos, you know. Everything's gone. Now, many people have been evacuated from this area, and there's no electricity or cell service for some people. So many people are left not knowing whether or not their loved ones made it out okay, like that second uh, resident that we talked to, Jamie Bagley, who hasn't heard from her mom since the fire started. She was able to go up to her house and says that her mom's home is destroyed, uh, but has not been able to reach her mom. Now, those are just two of the people that have been affected uh, in this area. There's been so many more other residents who live here who have come up here and, and say that they just cannot believe their eyes, uh, the fact that uh, this fire has just kind of rushed through this area and done this to their uh, community. Now, some of the challenges facing the firefighters is the wind. Uh, the terrain here is heavy. Uh, it's steep in some areas. And again, this wind is just uh, is continuing to pick up. So that's some of the challenges that they're uh, facing, the firefighters. And now, in addition to the firefighters, they're going to have six helicopters and uh, seven, uh, uh, no, six air tankers and seven helicopters to continue back battling in this blaze. And of course, we're going to keep you updated on this story on our mobile and tablet apps and on our website at turnin23.com. Reporting live from Lake Isabella, James Johnson, 23 ABC. James, thank you. And Cassie Carlisle is also at the scene and has more from the front lines now. Yes, you can see the huge plume of smoke behind me. Now I'm at the edge of McRae Road, the very end of that road. Now, if you take a look behind me, I'm going to bring you over here right now. These are the homes that are now being threatened by this fire. As I was driving up here, families are very concerned. Everybody's out on the street, and it is, again, all because of this giant plume of smoke right here. There's a lot of wind that has started to pick up since I've come out here, and firefighters have been coming down down this road that you can't really see over here to my left. It's a dirt road. They're going all the way up to that ridge and you can see that there are some, I don't know if you guys can see it, but there are some helicopters that have been picking up water out of what is left of Lake Isabella and they are just trying so hard to try and contain this fire and keep it from scorching the rest of the earth. I mean, there are areas where it's up to the 178. You look around all behind me and it is all black scorched earth. Back to you. Cassie, thank you. And anyone looking for a safe place to stay can go to these locations. The American Red Cross has set up shelter at Kernville Elementary. River Nook Campground in Kernville is offering free RV spaces and tents. And the new Life Assembly of God Church in Wofford Heights is also offering a place to stay as well. If you're a rancher looking for an area to store your horses displaced by the Erskine Fire, well, the Triple C Ranch Horse Hotel in Bakersfield is offering free lodging to horses only. That's located 
located on 5818 South Fairfax Road. For more information and the latest coverage on the wildfire, be sure to check our mobile and tablet apps. Visit our website at turnto23.com for exclusive video and social media reaction and viewer photos of the fire. We'll also let you know if your family is safe or not. So be sure to watch 23ABC News at uh, 5 and 6 now for the latest. Also, we'll check in now with meteorologist Jesus Lopez for our first look at your current cast 23. Jesus. Well, good morning, everybody. And just to let you know, the conditions, the weather conditions will not give in for this fire. So therefore, the fire will keep burning. Current temperature around Lake Isabella, it's in the low 80s. It's already warming up, but the humidity index is very dry. There's 14% and winds are blowing at 20 miles per hour. Those are strong winds and that will spread the fire. Here I'll show you this picture. A picture is worth more than a thousand words. Look at that image. It's a lot of smoke. That's by um, Earth skin fire. Now here's the Lake Isabella live feed right now. We can see in the distance the smoke. This is this is just smoke. This is not a cloud. This is smoke from the fire and it will continue to burn. The reason why? Well, the winds are blowing from the west. That's the wind direction and it's blowing between 20 to 35 miles per hour with wind gusts of up to 55 miles per hour. Those are strong winds. The terrain there is very rough. So the weather stations there are there's no weather stations there, so we can only see what the atmosphere is actually providing us to see. Now, the smoke is actually going to the desert area because the wind is blowing from the west and it's doing east, so it's leaving the smoke in that area. Now, we do have a fire war a fire weather warning in effect, and it would expire tonight at 11. I have more details about this fire in your current cast 23. Now, back to you, Lindsay. Thank you. Firefighters in the Golden Hills area have been able to get control of the blaze dubbed the Frontier Fire, despite the hot weather and dry conditions. Now, this is just south of Tehachapi. That fire now completely contained. More than 20 families were forced to evacuate while county fire crews got the fire under control. And as firefighters gained control on the Sam San Gabriel complex fire burning in the foothills above Azusa and Duarte, hundreds of people have been allowed back in their homes after being evacuated. And as we've been reporting well this complex fire it's burning in the foothills and this is in the angeles national forest many have been able to return home but some residents in the mountain cove community are still under evacuation orders roughly 1400 firefighters are battling the blaze and they say it could be a few more days until all residents in the area can return home authorities have lifted all evacuation orders in portrero california in southeast san diego county where the border fires burning. That blaze has destroyed five homes and 11 structures since it broke out Sunday afternoon. And according to fire officials, that fire was over 7,000 acres and is now 35% contained. Still to hear to come on 23 ABC News at 11 a.m. Erskine fire chaos this morning. We've been taking you live out to Lake Isabella. There's a live picture right there. We'll show you the blaze that's burned 19,000 acres so far and the hundreds of homes that remain threatened coming up on 23 ABC. Jackie Ochoa and Tim Callahan at 5, 6, and 11 committed to covering Kern County only on 23 ABC. We all wonder what it would be like to fly, to have power, to journey to another world. We wish, hope, dream. Then we come to realize Wonder can be real after all. Almost maximum. The Wizarding World of Harry Potter at Universal Studios Hollywood. Buy park tickets and annual passes online. Attention Bakersfield residents, are you currently unemployed? Unhappy with your current dead-end job? Are you looking to start a new career and finally earn big money? There's currently a huge demand for commercial truck drivers in Kern County. At Safeway, we can get you licensed and on the road to earning big bucks in as little as four weeks. Change your life today. Classes are forming now. Call Safeway Truck Driving School today. Payment plans available and financial assistance available for those that qualify. Call today. Camping World presents the 2016 Summer RV Fest, now through June 30th. For this month only, browse a full lineup of the nation's hottest RV manufacturers like Coleman, Jayco, Keystone, and Thor Motor Coach. Find the perfect RV for your family. With new towables as low as $111 a month. Start your summer off with adventure and visit the 2016 Summer RV Fest at Camping World. 
Wrightwood College honors the compassionate ones, the natural-born caretakers, those who have always made it their mission to make it all better. We commend you because today's healthcare field depends on people like you. Let Wrightwood College provide you with the specialized training you need to turn your gifts into a rewarding new career as a medical office specialist. Brightwood College. Call today or visit brightwood.edu. Went shopping for tires. Tried to save a buck. Now I'm stranded on the roadside. Down on my luck. Should have gone to Carol's. Now I'm paying my dues. Should have gone to Carol's. Instead, I got the flat tire blues. Don't buy tires or wheels till you check their prices. Welcome back to 23 ABC. This morning, friends and family are saying their final goodbye to Monsignor Raul Sanchez. People all throughout Kern County came to a vigil last night to pay their respects to Monsignor Sanchez at St. Philip the Apostle Church. Sanchez died surrounded by family after a year-long battle with bone cancer and suffering a heart attack during Mass almost two weeks ago. Monsignor Sanchez will be laid to rest this afternoon in Fresno. He'll be buried at St. Peter's Cemetery in Fresno as well. Bishop Armand Ochoa will be presiding over the Mass for Sanchez. This weekend, the community of Bakersfield is remembering police officer David Nelson. He was killed last year while pursuing a suspect in northeast Bakersfield. This Sunday, Police Lives Matter is holding a vigil for Nelson on Panorama Bluffs and Mount Vernon Avenue. And the BPDA Physical Fitness Committee is also holding a workout fundraiser at the McMurtry Aquatic Center at 8 a.m. We've been covering the Erskine fire, which continues to grow this morning. ABC's James Johnson is at the scene now with the very latest. James. Yeah, that's right, Lindsay. We're here at Lake Isabella, um, right here at South Lake, one of the areas that have been hit hardest uh, by that Erskine fire. And here, home after home has been destroyed due to this fire and the winds. They are picking up. And uh, we, I just looked on uh, the uh, fire station's website, and they were saying that this fire is uh, starting to act up again. And you can just see that smoke off in the distance. And uh, right now, there's about 19,000 acres that are um, being affected by um, this fire. No uh, reported injury. So far, the only injuries that we do know of is that there were three firefighters uh, that were um, taken away from the scene, and that was do due to smoke uh, inhalation. Again, now we talked to some residents that lived in this area, and they were saying that they cannot believe just the amount of damage that this fire has happened, uh, has created here, and just uh, again, home after home is just completely gone. Now we talked to uh, some residents, and they were saying that another thing that they're worried about is the fact that there's no electricity in this area, and there's no cell phone service, so they're unable to even uh, talk to their loved ones or even know if their loved ones are, 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 uh, are still okay. But, um, you know, again, we're going to keep you updated on this fire here um, in Lake Isabella throughout the day on our mobile and tablet apps and on our website at turning23.com. And I'm going to send things over uh, to uh, our weather center with the very latest on our weather. Well, thank you, James. Yes, it's unfortunate what's happening with that fire, but let's take a look at Lake Isabella. This is a, just image. We can see that smoke right there at the distance from the mountain. It's that fire still going. Conditions are not well. Uh, conditions are favorable today for fire. Let me, take a look at those temperatures. 83 degree right now in Lake Isabella. Humidity index, it's very dry out there. 14% and winds are blowing from the west at 20 miles per hour. We do have a wind advisory in effect. It expires at 10 tonight and we can expect winds from the west between 20 to 35 miles per hour. Those are sustained winds and then wind gusts of up to 55 miles per hour. Those winds will spread the fire and will continue to spread the fire today. Temperatures are warm and conditions are very dry so that fire will not be contained today we can see that the fire started somewhere uh, somewhere around here this vicinity of Lake Isabella again the winds are blowing between 20 to 25 uh, 20 to 35 miles per hour and the smoke is actually leading all the way to the current desert area by Ridge Crest, you can see some smoke already. Now we do have some watchings and warnings already in effect in our area but especially it's fire warning and it's for the Lake Isabella and the higher terrain area. Our storm shield Doppler is indicating nothing but clear skies, dry conditions, and warm weather. Now, here's our wildfire danger prevailing 
winds from the west will continue to blow tonight and during the overnight hours windy conditions for the mountains and desert area and it will continue to get hot and dry folks talk about those temperatures right now 83 degrees here in bakerfield 82 for lamont 78 for fraser park to hatch be a 75 and um, california city 95 rich crest already in the triple digits for the next eight hours temperatures just continue to be warm just two degrees above that average high of 93 95 for six o'clock now humidity index are dropping and they will continue to drop 27 percent here in bakersfield now here's your county forecast for today temperatures will be in the mid 90s 96 for bakersfield today but for the higher terrain look at the Kern River Valley area, low 90s. That's extremely warm and that's fuel for those fires to continue to burn today. And hopefully they contain them, but I see no containment near site because those temperatures will continue to be warm. Now for Ridgecrest today, the high of 106. You guys are already in the triple digits. Now here's our Valley Extended forecast for today, not a high of 896. By Sunday, 100 degrees. By, by Saturday, 100 degrees. Sunday, 103 degrees. Monday, another heat wave comes. 105 and 106 for Tuesday. It will be hot next week, extremely hot. Hopefully, they are able to contain those fires because they will continue to burn. Here's our current River Valley forecast. 92 for your forecast high today. Winds will continue to blow between 20 to 35 miles per hour, and that's not good for the fire because it will continue to spread the fire. Now, for our mountain community, 84 is your forecast high, and winds will continue to impact them. As well. Okay, all right. Well, well thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lindsay. And still to come here on 23 ABC News, Erskine Fire Chaos. This morning, we've been taking you live out to Lake Isabella. We'll show you the blaze that's burned over 19,000 acres so far and the hundreds of homes that remain threatened. More on that coming up on 23 ABC News at 11 a.m. The seven day forecast is brought to you by Sun Power, by Sun Solar, bringing you the best. Hi, Jeff and Scott here from Sun Solar. Sun Solar is proud to be recognized nationally as a leader in the solar industry, and the best part is we happen to be local. We're your neighbors, your friends, and your family. So it's important that we do you a good job because we want to earn your business. Call 1-800-SOLAR-POWER or visit sunpowerlocal.com to find out more. And thank you for the opportunity to let our families serve yours. Your future begins with three-way Chevrolet. This week, find huge savings on over 300 new Chevy vehicles in stock, like this 2016 Silverado 1500 Crew Cab. Start with an already great price and take over $8,000 off and finance with 0% APR for 60 months. Why pay more money for less truck somewhere else when you can get the most dependable, longest-lasting full-size pickup on the road? Now, with over $8,000 in total savings and 0% APR for 60 months, three-way Chevrolet, celebrating 60 years as your hometown dealership. Going solar? Get the facts. Did you know that leasing a solar electric system can cost up to three times as much as owning your own solar? Don't be misled by neighborhood canvassers or telemarketers. Come on down to one of our showrooms and get the facts. We're here to help you make a decision that's best for you and your family, not what's best for Wall Street investors. Stop by our new solar showroom located next to Trader Joe's or call 836-3880. You can catch the sun, land solar. Free specialized phones are available to Californians who have difficulty hearing, seeing, moving, speaking, or remembering. No income requirements, no hidden fees. To apply for this state program, call 1-800-330-5100 or download an application, fill out the first section, ask your doctor to sign, then mail, fax, or email your form. You may be eligible for a free specialized phone. Visit californiaphones.org or call 1-800-330-5100. At K-12, we believe that every child is uniquely brilliant, so they deserve an education designed for them. K-12 is available through tuition-free online public schools taught by state-credentialed teachers. Join the growing community of K-12 families who have succeeded with an individually tailored tuition-free online education. Call now or visit k12.com to learn more. Tuition-free for K-12 students in California. At Butology, we believe in the power of self-confidence. I'll never forget when I first looked into the mirror. The look on my husband's face. We believe in taking time with patients to understand their needs. We believe in quality. I feel absolutely incredible. 
I feel at peace. Thank you to my doctor. My husband says thank you. I couldn't be happier. Welcome back to 23 BC. President Obama's executive action on immigration will not be moving forward after the Supreme Court was deadlocked on the issue. The president's immigration program will now return to the lower court, and reports say it is unlikely to go into effect during the remainder of President Obama's term. Now, the program would have allowed over 4 million undocumented immigrants to apply for temporary work authorization. We're going to have to decide whether we're people who accept the cruelty of ripping children from their parents' arms, or whether we actually value families and keep them together uh, for the sake of all of our communities. The president also said the court's decision is frustrating for those who wanted the economy to grow and those who wanted to make our immigration system better. This decision by the Supreme Court affects millions across the country, including hundreds of families right here in Kern County. Families are concerned about getting torn apart and not being able to provide for their loved ones. Adrian Barajas just graduated from high school and is now worried about pursuing his dream of going to college and working for the Federal Reserve because he fears his mother could be deported. It just feels, uh, it just, it just feels stressed. Like, it's, it just, I feel, I feel like, uh, I could have done something. He is now hoping lawmakers look at families like his and realize they are all the same people and hopes that the future will allow his mother to stop working in the fields. The UFW said the ruling is only a bump in the road and the families say they will keep fighting for equality. Still here to come on 23 BC News at 11 a.m. Erskine Fire Chaos. This morning we've been taking you live out to Lake Isabella. We'll, we're live there right now. We'll show you the blaze that's burned over 19,000 acres so far and the hundreds of homes that remain threatened coming up on 23 ABC. Next Ellen, she's with superstar Johnny Depp, plus a performance by Sia, and it's Ellen's mama's birthday. She already found one of her gifts. She's not taking the good one. Oh, she's taking the good one. Watch Ellen today at 4 on 23 ABC. Extra, extra. Prepare yourself for one unpredictably epic season finale. It's almost too much for us all to handle. Game of Thrones Secrets. Next Extra. Tonight at 6.30 on 23 ABC. I'm Marvin, owner of Interfaith Electrical Solar. Are you considering leasing? Stop. Call me for a second opinion so you can learn the facts before you lease. A quick call can save you thousands of dollars. Call us now so you can have the power. I was 16 when I weighed 220. I didn't have a really good diet. I would just eat, you know, whatever was there, whatever I could get. My doctor had told me, you know, they had these classes about nutrition. And my mom, she immediately said, yeah. Ever since I started working out, I realized that I have so much energy throughout the day. I lost a total of like 70 pounds. I see and feel the biggest accomplishment of my life. I am the friendly face of Kern Family Healthcare. Hurry in now to the Ashley Home Store Stars and Stripes event. Buy more, save more, up to $1,000 store-wide, or pay no interest for six years. Amazing prices on cozy queen beds, now only $549. Find great deals on sofas, only $749. And huge savings on stylish dining rooms, now just $999. Or pay no interest for six years. Buy more, save more, up to $1,000, and start your stylish summer now. Ashley Home Store. This is home. Fresno, Visalia, and Bakersfield. Bad or no credit? Facing past bankruptcy? Need cash? Equity One Loans believes in second chances. I'm Dan Cook of Equity One Loan. I can help you. Equity One Loans will lend on almost any type of real estate. We provide loans on property you own or property you want to buy. As a direct lender, Equity One Loans saves you money. No broker commissions. Call for a free written loan quote and a free appraisal. I hate to reject loan applications. Let's talk. Call 330-2222 for a no-obligation quote. Kern County, stop leasing. It's a ripoff. Do you know you can buy your system for six cents a kilowatt? Leasing costs 16 to 20 cents a kilowatt. Call us now so you can have the power. 
Yeah, we're here in Lake Isabella where fire crews continue to fight the Erskine fire that is starting to pick back up uh, right now. The winds are really starting to pick up. Now we're here in South Lake where this area has been hit, one of the areas that has been hit the hardest uh, due to this fire. Now just driving around, you can see home after home that has been destroyed uh, due to this fire. Now we talked to people who are coming back to their homes for the very first time and both of them just cannot believe the type of destruction they've seen uh, so far with this fire. Got the call from my girlfriend. She was scared, didn't know what to do. I told her to take her little dog and go. Left my two big dogs here in the yard. I hope they made it out. All these people have animals. They all have dogs. They all have kids. Life. It's just all gone. It's hard. My mom, my mom's disabled. She's permanently disabled. She worked her whole life for what's in that house. It's not about money, her books, her photos, you know. Everything's gone. People have been evacuated from this area, and there's no electricity or cell phone service for some people. So some people, like that uh, second lady that we talked to, Jamie Bagley, uh, hasn't heard from her mom since this fire started. Uh, she did go up and uh, check on her mom's house, and her mom's house is also destroyed. Now, again, uh, this fire has spread. It's now at 19,000 acres uh, that are currently being affected by this fire. And again, there's about over 100 people who are at the uh, station uh, for all the evacuations. But of course, we're going to keep you updated on the story all throughout the day on our mobile and tablet apps and on our website, turnin23.com. Reporting live from Lake Isabella, I'm James Johnson. All right, Casey, a quick check at the forecast. Quick check, yeah. The fire's still burning. We can take that live view right there. And then the winds will still blow between 20 to 35 miles per hour due west. That means that the smoke is traveling to the east where the current desert area is. And we have some images that Ridgecrest was seeing some smoke. So. Thank you. Go to mm -hmm. our website, turn to 23.com for those. Mm -hmm. And all right, we'll see you back here at 5. Easier to read, easier to use. Download the new 23ABC app.